and good morning and welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon 1.8 my um, survival guide a survival guide it's only one of many I'm sure there are lots of ways of playing Horizon and I've tidied up the place got all the benches out the way got a few more workbenches we now have seven settlers here which is absolutely fantastic news and recently recruited one there we go right <clears throat> so what i have done is i've got i know i know that's marvelous okay you get on with stuff so i have sorted out a few bits we have water i've had a good night's sleep here is my resource station first we've got to check for mail i have got some mail here you may notice that i've put the zx one up there I have one message. What have we got? What is it? You receive a charge card. Well, thank you, Codsworth. That's really awesome. However, I get education and the money for the magazines, and I've put the other ones in there. Right. Now, the ZX1 is how you make legendary items uh, within Horizon. However, you need to use it so every weapon that i have scrapped you go into it and i'm going to reverse engineer it because that you know it's just figuring out how many i've done and if i do this you do not need to have the weapon on you unless it is a weapon you have not scrapped so every 25 so that was a lot of weapons i've scrapped and we can go to here because it will actually show you the stuff I have scrapped. So if you're out and about, you don't have to carry stuff. You can just scrap it. I have got uh, that, 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 that. Uh, let me take some of this. Big Jim, I'm going to keep. Hang on. Now, the question is, some of these... And I reverse engineer what I've got because I haven't. My question is, I don't know if I've scrapped. There's one I didn't scrap. So there were three weapons that I have that I have not scrapped. So I'd presume that's going to be some of the melee weapon type stuff. Um, okay, uh, so I'm going to put that away for the minute. And that, and that, and that. So that gives me a nice selection of stuff. Um, there's the weapon bench. So I want to get rid of the tire iron. It gives me a common tool. The pipe wrench is a common tool. And I'm going to sell those as I've got Carla outside. Pretty sure she is. She's just, no, she hasn't started wandering yet. Good girl. So, uh, the shovel. And the two 14 caps and i've managed to stay over a thousand caps which is awesome uh, i've got food yep 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 i've made a resource station so that we can get stuff okay here we are look so should we manage to get over to sunshine tidings i can do something about it now level up so much we need to have the gun up will give me ballistics armorer will give me more carry capacity um science i can't have local leader technologist is a very sensible choice at this moment in time um however a few things to do first as i've mentioned uh zx1 right here we've got the caravan travel radio now uh, now i'll come on to that chem station weapon lab we've got the tech table right so first is there an upgrade that i can do yes now trading is liquid fuel you see that's a difficult one liquid fuel okay I'm going to do that one because I want to upgrade that. Um, 
Okay. And again, like no, most things, we go inventory. We go to aid. New trade up, up locks. Oh, lordy. Now, that's not from here. Because you've got the courier trading station. And that does give me color. Whoa. Now, because of my level of trade, you can go from here and you can manage a courier system. It's like it sends a little bot, the trash can Carla. And now I do not need Carla in my settlement in order to trade with her. So handy. So, so handy. Right. Now, uh, this is the training desk that we do not leave till level 15. Uh, armor bench, I have put my fast travel point here. So that whenever we do fast travel in, we're going to be okay. We've got the command table, which is going to be very useful, but not yet. However, uh, cooking, don't need that. What I do need, and there is one other workbench that I can't get yet. And if I was to go into, not architect, However, it is under crafting. It is, that's it, the market trading terminal that we will need, but I need a cargo bot. Uh, and in order to use a cargo bot, I need nuclear material. So, next thing is the caravan travel system and traveling. Right, uh, plant wise, I actually want to go all the way down to. Now, supply kits, what are they used for? Supply kits are important things because you use supply kits to travel. And if we go to the caravan travel radio, I can add supplies. Now, caravan requires a certain amount of supplies to travel based on the distance. So the farther away it is, done. Now, that's going to open up Nuka World because that's tied to that. I have one supply kit, so that will give me 30 supplies. So I can now, and I've got a supply kit, I could add another one. Yeah, so I've now got 60 supplies. You can, you can actually buy supplies with caps, um, vendor credits, or you can use vendor credits. We haven't got any of those yet. So that means that I can go to these locations. And if I really wanted to, I could now. No, not you. Kill the Raiders. Okay. We could now go to Sunshine Tidings, but then I've got to get back because there are not three settlers there. I cannot travel there. So, um, next thing is um, recipes. That's for supply kits. Now, eventually, supply kits are going to be very common. However, in order to make supply kits, at the moment, I need purified water, carrots, corn, potatoes. And when we get leadership 30, you can make them slightly in bulk. And obviously, as you get better, they do that. So for the time being, I actually want carrots, corn, and potato. <clears throat> So, in order to make it all work, if we have a look at, no, where is it wrong? Oh, all the wrong buttons here. So we go to workshops. Abernathy Farm, 24, Red Rocket has got food down. And I have got food out, but not huge amounts. I want to go right here we are not utilities food right i could put down more potatoes but i'm saving those for the minute as melons oh okay is that melon there that's that's the melon trellis so i'm going to leave that the melon trellis i'm going to put over probably at abernathy maybe no i'm not right 
The thing as well about food, and forgive me, I'm all over the place here. Um, and hang on, let me just explain. We are going to go down to Abernathy because I want to explain what I'm doing. And Red Rocket, I want to see if anyone's arrived. And then we are going to head down to Starlight because we've got to go and clear Lexington. I know Codsworth. Okay, if we went... Now, I'm using my personal toolkit. I want to go to the skill menu for ballistics. 33.9. And I've got a skill level. Now, ammunition. 40. Now, if I was to use my ballistic skill, I could convert my pistol to 45, so we could have 38s as a backup. But we could have 45s. And for me, um, I'm gun nut. That is, I'm pretty sure, a good place to start. 53.9, right. So I can make 45s. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Okay. So the question is, at 53, did that let me do anything else? I don't think, oh, seriously, where are we? There we go. I don't think so. Uh, the combat pistol, um, we've got it hardened, that's the best. Standard, I put a comfort grip on it because it, it reduces VATS cost, which is fantastic. I can now put a rapid eject mag, and that's going to be oil. Okay, dot, muzzle, nothing else there. Now, my next question is, can I, hardened, no, I can make it good condition, which is two oil. Um, no, I'm just going to leave it for the minute. Look at me go. Um, right, weight wise, 185. Your food, stuff, get rid of the clean bottles. Store that. Get rid of those. Okay. Also, as well, in the weapon workbench, it is going to be a while before I use shotgun shells, if at all, on this playthrough. So, there we are. Um, and let's just do some scrap and tidy up. Don't have to look up for this one, do I? No. Let's put that away. All right. Okay. 93. And I'm pretty sure. All right. So the 5.56. Five, look at those 5 mils as well. Ooh. We'll break those down when we come back. Benders. We've got jangles. Nope. All right. Time to make a save. And we have bandages. Trauma kits. It's going to be difficult. It is, I, I, you know, I'm not going to underestimate it at all. Uh, let's have a look at the letter to Amy. I know through all the sense of rather right, things going well. And a good neighbour, and I've been busier than normal with work. So I'm busy. I'm so busy, in fact. But I have some great news. I've saved up enough money to rent out a place here big enough for you and the kids and the family to come join me. So start packing your bags. I, right in the middle of good neighbour. Do you have you any idea how hard that would be to get to? Can you imagine getting a family there? Well, good luck. Good luck. Campbell. I heard from Mitchell that there's a load of Mentats at the school near West Roxbury. Some story about closets full of Mentats or something. I know there's a bunch of super units there, but I have a plan. See, we sneak into that school at night, get our hands on some hems, and then we'll be so smart we can figure out how to get out, no problem. Oh, that is beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. Okay. Uh, notes. Uh, that we won't be able to get rid of that. Oh, okay. Oh, it's not a quest. Good, good, good. Here we are. Right. Now, the thing as well about settlers, settlements, and such like. Settlers like to have potatoes. So this playthrough, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, as I found, that there was a shortage of potatoes, unless you pick them yourself. So one of my settlements is going to just do potatoes. Um, right. um, there we go. What damage is that going to do? 40. Okay. I think for the time being, 38. Hello, beautiful. What are you doing? 21. Yeah, see, that's crap damage. But that will do until we get somewhere else and get it. Now, I was using. Hello, I know. She's on your bed, isn't she? Lucy's on your bed. That's a good girl. Well, I know. That's a good girl. Oh, no, he was very high up, wasn't he? Oh, okay. I've been using a, a few of the different architect items because I wanted a change. And I'm pleased that I did. Welcome to Red Rocket. I don't know if we've got anyone here yet. We've got some defense turrets. How are you doing? 43% chance no one's here yet. However, I've put the, the stuff in here. Oh, there we go. We've got someone. Red Rocket has a peep. Um, okay, well, um, I've put down uh potatoes and is that melon melon yeah so no not there so i'm assuming he's going to be well whenever the person arrives they're going to do something like be a guard or something anyway abernathy let me just go and show you abernathy abernathy is very much more old school uh but i can trend i can travel from there because the resources that are in the transport system are universal so wherever you are is where they are so as long as you have got a travel hub and supplies and three settlers you can use it to travel from oh i don't know if that was here or there but abernathy is eventually going to be just tatoes and because at the moment we have got it is growing well yeah potatoes and melons is what we've got here how are we doing five people i haven't got all the beds everything is ready yet but it's it's in a much better place oh melon come on and of course, all I've got to do is put the stuff in the workbench or whoop, here I can just production storage. What have we got? I'm just going to put all of that there. Okay. And I don't believe I actually put Hi Lucy. I can make yeah, I have no circuitry, so I'm going to have to use that one, which is leather. Not my favourite one, but you know what? It will do the job. And because we've got... I do, I do, Lucy, that's fine. Now, also another quick point. Dirty water. So, any water that is produced in any settlement um data workshop here we go so t all 20 all of this t this water 
is when it is produced is split evenly between all your workshops. So every workshop that you possess that is connected, oh, look at the time I'm doing this, uh, will be um, spread throughout them all. Settler rations are produced by your settlers based on food and such items. And over here, if we go to production management, and I know what I forgot to do. Last. Now you see supply kits. You will have every production run a, a number of supply kits. The supply kits are based on a ratio between food and water. It takes 20 food and 20 water to make one supply kit. So at the moment, every production run, I'll get one. If I get another 13 food, I'll get two. And that will oh oh no where are you going come, come on no make a difference now here we are and right last thing i'll and i'll be okay forgive me for this as you can see it is of an evening i'm a bit tired i'm forgetting a few things so i'll see you back at sanctuary because there's one more thing i want to do and then we go down and lexington is ours I'll be back in a tick. Ah, and welcome back. And here we are. It's a guard. We have a guard. So our defense now should be much better. 14. Ooh. Which means we're probably going to get attacked unless I can put a turret up. But I don't think I can do a turret. Can I? Just one? No, I don't have enough basic circuitry. And I don't want to use the other turrets. I want to use those ones. So, see you in a tick. Right, here we are. Welcome back. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do is under production. And if we come across to horizon production. Now, a lot of this I cannot do yet. However, as the game progresses, there are going to be the core materials we will need, which is lumber, wood, stone and steel. And we will need those in numbers, especially when some of the larger items, if we have a look at, we go into right the way across to the last one, 2000 wood, 3000 steel. When you get to the end game, 3000 steel is a lot. So, uh, what we want to do is I want to start getting a few things underway now. And what we're going to do is for the next three people who come along, I am going to have a lumber yard and a, a stone yard. I can't do a junkyard yet because we need salvaging. But I do want a steel yard and I'm going to put that one right at the end there now what you've got to bear in mind they do nothing on their own you must activate them and what you've got to do is go right into production management whether or not you use your resource station or your production console they do the same job now, what we are looking at is, uh, we are looking at active production, I believe they come under. Yes, here we are. So, you can see here, I haven't got a wood purifier. purifier. Uh, we can salvage wood, steel, or concrete. So, active service is level two. So, if we scroll to slot two, it's going to take, each production run will take one liquid fuel, it will produce 100 wood, one plastic, one assorted scrap. So it's useful for that. And if I went and clicked 999, that is going to basically work forever. Now, slot two is going to be liquid fuel. No, hang on, slot three. Oh, I mean, blimey. Slot three, I don't have anyone on it yet. I will also take liquid fuel, but that will produce steel, aluminium, a malicious, a malicious scrap, miscellaneous scrap, malicious scrap. What is malicious scrap? Okay. And now 
if we go to concrete for I'm going to add that and that will produce concrete glass and mixed scrap so when you are doing these they are well worth having all right now un oh that's Heidi oh no that's a noise outside she's been very touchy recently I have to say bless her she's been very oh no uh, materials now cloth we can make cloth with cotton fuel canister you see what we need is to make liquid fuel we need flamer fuel oil or we have to buy it and it's like you can make loads of packing material if you really want to because that's um there comes a point when you don't need most of that stuff except for beds anyway that is where we are so we now are going to have actually that probably needs to be slightly a bit more room there so the next people who come along will automatically just or when we come back in we'll just go back to those places now transportation let's go flying shall we caravan we need to go to starlight drive-in and it's that simple um i have fast travel between these locations and then while we're away i hope to say you only use two caravan supplies and is there any chance anyone is going to turn up let's hope so shall we food of over 43 beds okay next cycle oh and now we've got a thought we have attracted someone one settler doesn't matter we've got one settler and there's some fighting going on over there by the sounds of things however because we've now got food this will although this will show a minus under food at the moment i would imagine oh no there we are picked it up so it's gone from the high 40s to 53 and that will happen every day so if we were to leave it three days we could potentially have three people arrive so horizon is now um oh wait, i'm not i've got clothes and things haven't i we're ready okay so the next thing we've got to do i did, did not get rid of that get rid of that one thank you all right everyone's ready so how are we doing we are doing well lexington oh there's so much here we have got wilson he's got stuff we're ready to go we've got bits to break down here hang on sorry there we go right <coughs> so now lexington is going to a large mole rat there could be bugs over there as well lexington is a big place we've got corvega we've got to do hey you big fat one look at those action points wow There you go now and also don't forget to get it in the head more damage oh yes okay now lexington and then we've got all the wicked shipping and everything to do oh and there is a boss chest in there that's locked up yeah you see that's all of this stuff did i get that okay and i am more than happy to be running on 10 mil at the min however very soon we're going to go to 45s because 
Oh, there's stuff going on all over the place over there. Okay. There's that. There's the wicked shipping container. So, I'm not sh I'm thinking we'll be able to get into Lexington. No, it's not open, look. Oh, that is good. Now, how dangerous do we think that's going to be there? I'd rather not go. But if we do die, we should go back to um, Starlight Driving, which is why I wanted to expand the network as quickly as I possibly could. Hello, doggo. Oh, okay. Come on, you can do this. Okay. Come here, you. Um... Oh, hello. Where are you? No, don't run away. Don't run away. Sorry, come on. Okay. Is it? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Okay, Codsworth, thank you. Oh. Well, hello there, says Codsworth. He just makes it seem wrong, doesn't it? Oh, wow. Okay, guys. A survi raider survivalist. Right. Good. No. Okay. So, and also as well, bear in mind, while you would do it a hard hat, try and scrap everything you can because it will improve your salvaging skill. Now it may only go up little tiny bits, but try and scrap everything you can and not necessarily pick up too much. We cannot get into that power armor setup yet, but we have got the wicked shipping key. Yep, yep. Thank you very much. And Come on, you. Come on. Um, all right. So Lexington calls. And. The main idea of doing this is because we should be getting lots of spare veg and things. And materials. Um, my hope is that we can actually start to spread those out. See, the carrots I've got are very thin. However, Grey Garden has carrots. So, and you know what? Now I'm going up against ghouls and numbers of ghouls. So there's an element of me that's going, uh, yeah, let's get a decent gun, shall we? Yeah. There's 45s, very nice rounds. We should be able to do a lot. And I can't do the conversion kit for the pistol, so I can do 556. Five, until oh he's over there um until i've got another tech level well done wilson right this is a big big old place Right. And let's. Hello. 
See, that's the downside of not having a good sneak. There goes Wilson. Thank you, Wilson. Not picking up this stuff. I need all of this. So that's the, what we've got to watch out for. So for my next level, as much as I would love to get a technologist, um, it's going to have to be. Oh, no, look. I can't. I cannot get sneak for level 10. So we're going to have to pick something else. So that would be a subject, a subject, an item that I would have picked up. At level 10, so it's going to be hmm, technologist, medic. It could be useful, chemist. Technologist, I think, is going to be probably the most useful one. Because that will let us start scrapping other things. So things like um, machines, cigarette machines. Come on, Wilson. Thank you. Ah, and a tuxedo. That's worth caps. That is worth a lot of caps. Okay. Not huge amounts to pick up. But enough. Ah, tonight. I'm I'm gonna be playing for a while tonight because not not with this I will break and pause because we got the shopping being delivered tonight so whilst I would love to go and have a nap it's gonna be a matter of no oh I'll have that well it's just waiting for it to be delivered so um. I was thinking as well, poor old Codsworth. He's going to be stuck with me for ages, isn't there, really? Now, I've got mines, but that's it. Um, now, weapon wise, we have got the custom bolt rifle. Because that'll do 357 and 44s. So, actually, I'll get that one as well. Yeah. Because I wanted a diversity of weapons. Oh, and let's make a save before we do a new load area. And also, as well, let us check. We see the range on this. Is one two nine, which is okay, but not the best. We are going to need. So let's let's try, let's try quiet, shall we? I still think this is quite amazing that I might have to. Okay, how are we doing, guys? That's a lot of ghouls. Oh, that's a reaver. Oh, no. He's not going to be. That's it. Uh huh. Come on. And you. Uh, and you. Keep walking in the fire, guys. Okay. Well, okay. 
Here we go. We've got everyone. I don't like blowing that up, but do you know what? There's no way I was going to risk that. Oh, so actually, airbrush. I want those. You see, that's one of the things about ghouls as well. Some of the bits are really nice. Well, okay, when I say really nice, I mean things like they do tend to have a lot of silver on them. Not sure why. Oh, the Molotov is exceptionally useful. Well, except for me. Ah. Look at me using Molotovs. That's just insanity. Absolute insanity. Hi, how you doing? I know. Horrendous, Codsworth. Absolutely horrendous. Um, let's hack this. Let's activate his nibs. Okay, off you go. All right. Um, do a save because it's a loading screen. I, you know what? I'm fairly certain that um, Horizon for me has always been really quite robust. Provided I've not added other things to it. That's that's what's made the thing the killer for me. Right, so we've taken there. What I'm gonna do. Oh, I should I should always come out by the car and I never do. Well, we have a four luck. What's going to happen? Nope. If it moves back slightly, then you've got it. Uh, now, also, eventually we will be able to get those. Duper duper mark. And cola machines. All right. Well, how are we doing for time? Oh, let's just hide here and have a look at our unopened pre-war parcel, the Carlisle typewriter. Okay. Well, we know he's up there. So I think for the next vid, I think that's going to be a place to leave it for today because it's late and I'm trying to save my fingers. So what I'm going to do is I think on the next vid, let's make a save. There we are. We are going to head into. Oh, well done, Wilson. You've already got them. Oil. See, that's the oil I wanted. I'm very mindful that the nibs over there has got a mini nuke quite often, and I don't want to be blown to smithereens. So, a big thank you to all who have watched, left likes, commented, and subscribed. Thank you all so very, very much. It really does mean a lot. And if you're one of those who hasn't subscribed or commented or liked, uh, please consider doing so. So, And thank you very much. But between now and the next vid, take care, keep safe, and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Ta-da for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.